VSync, G-Sync, FreeSync and Frame Limiting are all very different technologies and all very interesting. So stick around and I will hopefully explain what you should do, uh, you know, which ones you get, what they are and just generally uh, a few other bits and pieces. So stick around. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Hi guys, and welcome to Tech Team Beauty. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I may get things wrong in this video, so if I do, let me know in the comments down below, but um, try to be a little bit nice about it, if you can, because I have had some rather interesting comments about me being wrong about things, and then it actually turns out I was right, but you were just a bit of an ass about it, so yeah... Just, you know, take care in your words, please. But um, otherwise, let's get started. So first thing I want to cover is VSync. VSync is the standard technology that you don't need anything, you know, new to do with. Uh, there's no extra hardware you need. It just kind of comes in games and it's pretty interesting. Imagine you're playing a game uh, with a 60 hertz monitor and you're running at 55 FPS. Now, with no VSync on or nothing, you know, nothing happening, it's just you're playing the game as standard. Uh, what will happen is the frame that's currently on the screen will be stored in the graphics card's prim primary buffer in the video RAM, or, you know, the GDDR5 or HBM stuff. Now, that frame will be shown on the screen. With no VSync or anything, what will happen is the next frame, which, because you're running at 55 FPS, won't be quite finished. It'll be, you know, four-fifths done, for example. But because you're not running anything uh, kind of uh, to do with it, it will just show the next frame, even though it's not quite finished yet. So it will just show the bit of the last frame that may actually be completely different to the next one. So it really doesn't look that great. It's called tearing, and it's generally just a kind of nasty gaming experience that you don't necessarily want um, to have, but occasionally might do. Now, VSync tries to eliminate that issue. If you're running at more than 60, uh, 60 FPS on a 60 hertz monitor, uh, VSync effectively stops tearing at higher, higher than refresh rate um, kind of FPS, which is awesome and it does really well at that. But if it dips below uh, the refresh rate, it looks horrible and just is generally naff because if, say, again, you're running at 55 FPS and, you know, you're uh, running a 60 hertz monitor, VSync won't let the next frame, which isn't finished yet, go up on screen. It'll duplicate the one that's in the primary buffer. So even though you're running at 55 FPS, you're seeing 30, which is, you know, not that great and just generally... Uh, not cool. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Now with uh, the adaptive refresh rate technologies like G-Sync and FreeSync, the way they work is effectively telling the monitor when to refresh. The graphics card tells the monitor, hey, show this now. And you, you will always see the full output of your GPU without tearing and without frame limiting, which is awesome. It looks beautiful and is just a, such a cool technology with great gaming experiences to be had from it. But um, something to note, uh, so let's start with G-Sync. G-Sync is NVIDIA's pri uh, proprietary technology that requires a, a G-Sync module inside a monitor. That means that the monitor has to be, has to be developed specifically for that G-Sync module and does often cost more than a standard or a FreeSync monitor uh, just because of the development cost and the specific hardware module cost. Now, this is a lot more of a lockdown platform. NVIDIA keeps promising new technologies to be added to G-Sync, which is really cool and exciting, but it does cost you more and is a lot more locked down. So, for example, um, I've heard from many people that if you uh, have something, uh, a G-Sync monitor, but, uh, you know, you, you want to quickly throw up, a, a you know, your AMD PC on there just to make sure everything's working or whatever, it won't work. You won't be able to show... Um, you know, your 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 image from an AMD graphics card on a G-Sync monitor, which is actually pretty terrible and quite annoying. Um, also, you can only use display ports, and that's the only cable you can use at this point in time. Um, so that's pretty uh, kind of, you know, not great. But obviously, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, G-Sync is definitely the way to go. Now, FreeSync is AMD's slightly more open technology, something that uh, apparently Intel is going to be supporting very shortly. Um, also, because it's built into the VESA standard, it's a lot cheaper to get a Visa, uh, a G-Sync monitor, uh, a FreeSync monitor over a G-Sync one. Generally, if you're comparing very similar monitors but with G-Sync and FreeSync technologies, as pretty much the only difference. Now. Visa, uh, FreeSync works in a very similar way. Um, t the graphics card tells the monitor when to refresh, but the key difference of this is that HDMI 2.0 is very close to being supported, and you generally have more monitors with more input. So, for example, you may have a FreeSync monitor that also has a VGA and a DVI and an HDMI input, even though you know you you have to use DisplayPort at this point in time for you know the the FreeSync option. Uh, you can also use pretty much any uh, kind of PC on a FreeSync monitor. There's no uh, you know limiter for that which is awesome as well. 
Now, uh, key point is that you won't get a free sync working with an NVIDIA graphics card. You still have to have an AM, a supported AMD graphics card to have free sync working, but you will still be able to use a monitor, which is nice. Now, uh, frame limiting, which is something that I've uh, sort of spoken a little, bit, a little about in the comments, is something that you can do in things like uh, AMD's drivers, where you can effectively limit the amount of frames your graphics card produces. So say you're running a 60 hertz monitor, you can limit your graphics card to run at 60 FPS. Now that sounds great, but uh, unfortunately, this thing's called frame timings, which is basically how long the graphics card takes to draw each frame. For example, the average would uh, average in a second would be uh, what 0.016 recurring seconds per frame. Now, if your graphic card is running at that, you know, it's taking exactly that long per frame to you know draw the next frame, then it'd be smooth as hell, it'd be fantastic, and it'd look amazing. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Imagine that for you know the first 30, uh, 30 frames of a 60 FPS run, um, you're looking at the sky, right? That's going to be quite short because it doesn't take a lot of processing power to basically just pull those textures and throw them on screen. But then say for the next 30 frames, you're looking at the ground or at you know a forest or at a fighter jet or anything that's more computationally intensive. It will take your graphics card longer to draw those frames. So even though it may all add up to 60 FPS, each frame will take a different amount of time and will likely be out of sync for a lot of the you know kind of seconds so it will you'll still get tearing and you'll still you know not have a great gameplay experience but then again you won't have a limited kind of uh frame rate so it's there's there's kind of pros and cons to it but really free sync and g-sync are definitely the way forward for a smooth fast and just generally awesome gameplay experience um the only thing is that they are kind of two competing technologies so you have to have uh g-sync for an uh, nvidia card and you have to have free sync for an, uh, an amd card you can't have free sync for nvidia or G-Sync for AMD. It doesn't, there's no cross-platform availability there, which is kind of annoying, but um, still, if you have an AMD graphics card and you can afford a FreeSync monitor, especially something like a uh, AOC G2460PF, which I've ch uh, checked in before and loved pieces, um, that's an amazing monitor and I definitely recommend you get that one. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can check out the uh, G-Sync version of the AOC monitor, but also just to note, if you are looking for a just kind of mad, uh, amazing uh, kind of thousand pound monitor, there are a lot more G-Sync options available than there, are, than there are FreeSync monitor, kind of like amazing thousand pound kind of monitors available. Um, so if you want to go completely insane, you can go the uh, NVIDIA route and get uh, kind of crazy G-Sync monitors. But if you're more sensible and don't really need a thousand pound monitor and you already have an AMD graphics card, then definitely check out FreeSync. Other than that, if you can't afford either, V-Sync or nothing is still a great kind of way to go. I still personally use that at this point in time um, as I just don't have G-Sync or FreeSync monitors uh, lying around. But um, yeah, it's certainly, uh, well interesting. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If I did get something wrong, as I said, feel free to let me know in the comments down below as well. Subscribe for more awesome tech stuff, including explanations, projects, and reviews. Uh, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. If you did dislike it, leave a comment down below and let me know uh, kind of what you didn't like, uh, as I can try and improve it for next time. But um, yeah, check out Facebook and Twitter for more kind of gen general updates on an, uh, awesome giveaways we're doing, including a really cool one for an AMD PC right now. Um, you know, we've got a general content and video updates and all that sort of stuff so check out facebook and twitter um also check out some of the videos and i guess that's kind of it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did as I said let me know in the comments down below but uh, otherwise we'll see you on the next one